the foreign universities have been allowed to price at whatever they want. So if an American university charges, uh, you know, comes to India and says, okay, we're also going to do it at $70,000 uh, in India as we do abroad. Now, they may be skeptical. They may think it's a bad idea because students may not do it, but they are allowed to do it. They will probably reduce it a bit, but we're not quite sure what they will reduce it to. And will it come down to the Ashoka level or Indian university levels? Right. I, I'm not sure, so sure if they get it at the same price, uh, then mm. it's going to become just sort of, you know, uh, the campus being located in India, just as you see NYU and Abu Dhabi. I think the fee is about 55,000 US dollars as compared with the New York one, which is New York NYU is about, I think, $75,000. Um, so there's a little bit of a differential, about 25%. But um, to, to say that people would embrace it, you know, at the same price, I'm not so sure. Because today, a US education in Indian rupees is costing around 2.2 crores. And if they were to subsidize a little bit, and if they came in at one and a half, two crores, say, um, it would still be pretty high uh, because, you know, people do earn in dollars once they um, finish their education and they're able to pay back the loans or, you know, at least what the parents have paid, they're able to uh, sort of at least get back some of that. So I think costing is going to play a pretty major role. Pricing is going to be quite a key point.